Hello, Mr. Nilen here. Welcome to another Let's Play, but I'm not sure we will play this. So this is Final Fantasy VI for the Game Boy Advance. So, I once owned, I believe, five Final Fantasy games for the PlayStation 1. I believe it was Final Fantasy VII, which I finished. It was Final Fantasy VIII, uh, in which I played all the way to Ultimacia's Castle, the final area of the game. But we are too weak to, to be able to finish the game. And then, in Final Fantasy IX, I believe I either were at the, the I believe, uh, the end of disc 2, or in, in the beginning of disc 3. So I played most of Final Fantasy VIII and Final Fantasy IX on the PlayStation 1, and played all of Final Fantasy VII on PlayStation 1. I had also previously played Final Fantasy VII on the computer. I got that one first, the computer version from 1997 or 1998 actually, I believe the PlayStation 1 was from 97 and the, the computer version was from 98 same year that Final Fantasy 8 released to the PlayStation and then I believe Final Fantasy 9 was from 1999 okay, Final Fantasy Origins a uh, compilation game for the PlayStation 1 I believe I also owned it. It included f a remastered version of Final Fantasy 1 and 2 for the PlayStation 1. I played very little of Final Fantasy 2 and uh, I played uh, the first chapter or so of Final Fantasy 1. So I plan on playing Final Fantasy 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and 6. I never played them to the end. Actually, I never played more than the beginning in, in Final Fantasy 6, 1, and 2 never played 3 at all and uh, Final Fantasy 4 I never played okay in uh, I believe I owned uh, Final Fantasy 6 on the PlayStation 1 as well so this is Final Fantasy 6 on the Game Boy Advance using an emulator um, <coughs> but it's a hacked version of the game uh, so the Game Boy Advance version is faster uh, when it comes to loading screens than the PlayStation 1 version and uh, <coughs> unlike the PlayStation 1 and the Super Nintendo version of the game, because the game was first released on the SNES or Super NES, which is the Super Nintendo, okay, uh, and uh, unlike the, the PlayStation 1 version, it's very faster in the loading screens. If you want a fast game, it's better to play on the Game Boy Advance than on the PlayStation 1. And uh, unlike the <coughs> the Super Nintendo version, I believe that the graphics are more beautiful because the Game Boy Advance is a handheld console uh, the follow-up to, to the Game Boy Color I believe the Game Boy was uh, released in 1989 it was a black and white console and then the Game Boy Color arrived in the late 90s 98 probably, could be wrong uh, and it added uh, like more advanced features to the Game Boy and uh, added color to the games and then the Game Boy Advance arrived in 2001 I believe and uh, this console not only had color but had uh, way more uh, advanced features compared to the Game Boy Color uh, it was similar to Super Nintendo in, in quality but I believe s certain games look better on the Super Nintendo than on the Game Boy Advance and other games look better on the Game Boy Advance. I believe the Final Fantasy VI game looked better on the Game Boy Advance. But there were one setback, and that was the fact that the Game Boy Advance wasn't able to, to play the sound uh, as well as the PlayStation version and the Super Nintendo version. So the Game Boy Advance had worse sound capabilities than the other consoles. And this hack is adding the original sound to the the original music to the Game Boy Advance version. So it's the Game Boy Advance version, which is faster than the PlayStation 1 version and has better graphics than the Super Nintendo version. And it now has, thanks to hack, which is kind of a mod, but they hack, hack the changes into the game, which is a more complicated uh, process than modding. Uh, when you mod something, it's usually the it's a computer game usually, but in this case it's a Game Boy Advance game played on the computer uh, okay so, so they have modded uh, the graphics, nah, no the, the, the 
the better sound of the SNES version, the Super Nintendo version, into this version. Uh, but we're not certain we're gonna play this. Uh, we might play the Super Nintendo version instead, uh, because they have a hack there as well, and it was released in 2022, the hack for the Super Nintendo. It's named Final Fantasy uh, VI Divergent Patch, released in February or April or May 2022, I don't remember exactly. I just played a bit in it. And, and the difference there is that because we are we are using an emulator, so the graphics are the best they can be, of course, with the Super Nintendo. And also, so I don't know if they look better or worse than this version. Uh, the sound would be the same as that version has the original uh, music and sound, uh, great music. And um, I believe that it's a modified version, so it, it has the, uh, any bug fixi fixes and improvements uh, in the script uh, from the Game Boy Advance version. I believe that the Game Boy Advance had Final Fantasy 1, 2, 4, and 5, and 6 uh, with improved scripts compared to the Super Nintendo and PlayStation versions. So any bugs in the script and, and uh, errors in the translation should be fixed. And uh, that version, the Divergent Paths, is unlo unlike other Total Overhaul mods, it doesn't change the original story, it doesn't change um, the way the game plays, it doesn't change the stats and such. Uh, however, it did add new features. So for example, in the original game, you have fewer characters playable. Uh, I believe they, uh, there were a few characters in the original game according to what they have read, uh, that you could use uh, only in certain parts of the game and, and uh, then you couldn't use them again in the game ever. And the mod uh, allows you to, to use them for the rest of the game. Also the mod adds uh, more story bits to, to each character. So you have, if you had like 15 original characters then all of them will have an expanded story. Uh, there were no proper endings for some of the characters, and the, the mod adds that, and then uh, it adds two completely new characters, and uh, an uh, uh, optional character that you have uh, temporarily in the game will be fully playable. So you get more characters, more story, and expanded content. Uh, a lot more to do, leave more uh, like story bits and missions and such. So it's an expanded Final Fantasy VI without removing anything that made uh, the original game uh, great. And uh, it doesn't change the stats and, and such, so it will still feel like the original game used with more story and more characters playable. And I was uh, highly impressed by the game. It, it felt like something, uh, it felt like Final Fantasy VII with uh, 2D graphics and way more uh, expansive story. I believe the story is uh, more uh, interesting than, than in Final Fantasy VII. In Final Fantasy VII there isn't uh, much of a story. You know, it's, it's mostly follow Sephiroth and feed Sephiroth. Uh, but uh, <coughs> I still like Final Fantasy VII because uh, yeah, it, it has a certain charm, but this uh, Final Fantasy VI is more expensive. Let's try the Game Boy Advance version now, and then we'll make an episode in the Divergent Paths version for the SNES, and, and then we'll choose which one we will continue. The one that feels the better, the, the one that feels the best, the superior one will be played. Of course the SNES version, the hacked version there, has more content, but this might still be looking better. I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll pick English here. Yeah. Final Fantasy VI Advance. So 
1994, the original game released for the Super Nintendo in 2006 and 2007, the Game Boy Advance version was released, a remake for the Game Boy Advance. It had worse music, but thanks to the mod, we have uh, new music for it that is the same as in the Super Nintendo version. Let's check the intro here. The ancient war of the Magi, when its flames at last receded, only the shared husk of a world remained. Even the power of magic was lost. In the thousand years that followed, iron, gunpowder and steam engines took the place of magic and life slowly returned to the barren land. Yet there now stands one who would reawake, reawaken the magic of ages past and use its dread power as a means by which to conquer all the world. It has the same intro. Could anyone truly be foolish enough to repeat that mistake? Question mark. Graphics are more beautiful in the Game Boy Advance version, in my opinion. The backgrounds look more beautiful at least. They are more sharp. See, it is a remaster for sure. The handheld console. Yeah, it looks more beautiful here. Veg, there's the city. Ah, oh, fuck, I... I uh, I thought we had started the game, we hadn't started it, so now we will have to rewatch that, because that's part of the, the intro of the game too. Too bad. New game. I won't read the same text again. We will watch it. So, the, the sprites look better here. Even the characters, they are sharper. It's the same sprites and the same backgrounds, but it's, uh, they are sharper. They look more modern. So the SNES has worse graphics than the Game Boy Advance, or at least is capable of less. I believe the SNES is 16 bit, and the Game Boy Advance probably has better than that. But certain games like Donkey Kong Country still look better on the Super Nintendo for some reason. Okay, this game looks better here. I still want to, to play the Divergent Paths. Um, mod or hack because that version <coughs> has so much more content more playable characters expanded story and such maybe we'll play both first this and then the other one and play the same part again on the hacked version don't know because this one looks better this is also a hack because it has the music of the SNES version Otherwise the music would be worse here, as I said previously. The Game Boy Advance had better graphics and worse music. Okay. Biggs, hard to believe an Esper's been found frozen there a thousand years after the War of the Magi. Biggs, bah, probably used another wild goose chase. Which I don't know. They wouldn't have let us uh, use her unless they were confident that the information was good. Vix, ah, yes, our witch. Here she fried fifth of our Magitech armored soldiers in three minutes. Kinda makes you, your skin crawl, don't it? Doesn't it, probably. Vex, relax. With that thing on her head, she's a mindless puppet. Girl won't even breathe unless we tell her to. Girl won't even breathe un un unless we tell her to. Okay. Veg, we'll approach from the east. Move out! By the way, I'm, I'm from Sweden. I'm, I'm English is my second language. So bear with me. Uh, okay. I love this intro. The music is so great. That's one thing I remember strongly from just playing the, the intro 
stuff in, in the PlayStation version. I had the entire game, but now I thought it was too old. Yeah, this looks way better. SNES version will look a little bit more updated. It will have more expansive content. Thanks to the hack, of course. So, if you want uh, a more graphically pleasing experience, play the Game Boy Advance version using the, the hack that uh, adds the SNES music. Yeah, and if you want to play a more expansive game, play the SNES version using the Divergent Paths mod or hack. Okay, this music is really great. I won't promise to finish the game on both systems, but we'll f play at least one episode on each, and uh, then if, if I want to play the one with better graphics, we'll play this one, or, or if I want to play the hack, I'll play the other one, or I'll play both, I don't know. Which, the girl takes point, um, and don't waste time on riffraff, remember what we're here for, let's move. Good that we don't need to edge. The Esper's got to be here. Let's keep looking. Uh, so we shouldn't back down. Uh, but yeah, the, there is a clear improvement on the graphics here. Guard, the Empire's got no business here. There will be a fight. Okay, Magitech. Let's use fire beam on the wolf. We can use ice beam as well. These guys are overpowered. You will easily win the battles here. Only the boss was kind of difficult unless until I understood how it worked. Okay, earn 12 experience, obtain 30 gil, which is the currency in this game. And in all Final Fantasy games. It's named Gil. Money. Don't go here. God, Imperial Magitech armor, not even Narsi is safe anymore. Another battle. Sprites are exactly the same, they just look better here. The, the colors are a bit different, and the, the sprites are more sharp. Here they wear another new re remaster of this game. The computer released recently, in like 2020 or something, but it wasn't very good, it had very weird looking sprites, they look different, so people prefer this version, so we obtained 96 gil, but that uh, hack I uh, talked about, uh, it, uh, Divergent Pat, it released uh, just a month or so ago, so it's very recent, and it's certainly worth playing due to all the content it adds to the story and such without removing anything from the original and I don't want to play the game two times so that's why I plan on playing the hack instead of the original game but I might actually play it on both both these systems at once uh, the PlayStation version would be I believe it would be faster when I use a, an emulator but uh, then on the PlayStation 1 and it would have probably pretty good graphics, we could do one episode there as well to just see the difference, but um, the way I see it, it has the music, the same music as the SNES version, so uh, and if it's more beautiful than the Game Boy Advance version, we might pick that one maybe the, maybe it's slow, just like the PlayStation 1 version, even when played on an emulator, I don't know we'll check all the versions except the new PC version, okay God, for Nars! On another battle. This game is certainly impressive. On the Game Boy Advance. The Game Boy Advance usually have worse graphics than the SNES. But here they have better graphics, which is impressive. 
As I said, Donkey Kong Country looked better on the Super Nintendo. He entered full experience, obtained 60 gil. Another fight against these soldiers. Let's use fire beam on that one. Ice beam on the other. The menu is slightly bigger on SNES, which I kind of preferred, but maybe not in on this system. It's good that we have such a big screen of the battle field. Okay. We'll play the same amount of uh, stuff that I did. I used it for the SNES. God, we got them trapped now. Yeah, we'll be attacked from both sides now. Surrounded. Critical. Uh, we need to heal. Our we have no items. That's one difference from the mod where we had potions and stuff. Here we do not have any potions. We have the healing uh, ability to so we'll heal Terra. This is her name. I believe she was named uh, something else. As well, in one version of the game, I don't remember. She was named Tyne or something, I don't know. But Terra is her real name, if I remember correctly. She also had uh, blonde hair in the Dissidia game and green hair. It's an alternate, alternate skin, but I believe the green hair is her original. The blonde hair was added for the, the CD game, I believe, a fighting game where they have a bunch of different Final Fantasy characters from different Final Fantasy games for the PlayStation Portable. Obtained 126 gil. Right. God, defend the mines! Alright, another battle. Yeah, the monsters and sprites are exactly the same in, in, the, in the SNES version. Yeah, we have used remastered it a bit for the Game Boy Advance. up the sprites and the colors. Gained a level with Veg and Biggs, but I believe they are not uh, playable characters in the game after this intro prologue. They are used playable in the beginning because we are currently fighting for the evil side, I believe. Terra is being mind controlled or something by some items on crown. Veg, according to our source, they unearthed the frozen Esper in a new minecraft they were digging. This must be it. So in the Divergent Paths uh, hack we had uh, Phoenix Down. No, we didn't have Phoenix Downs, uh, which is used to, to, to restore the, the health of a downed character. No, we had, uh, I believe, a bunch of potions and uh, at least two high potions or so. And then we had some other items. Here we have no items, so we are clearly weaker in, in the original game. Ah, there we have an item. Strange light fills the air. Do you want to learn about save points? No. Ah, so this is a save point. Okay, we will save. Game has been saved. So Veg and Biggs are just playable in the prologue, while Magitech Elite Terra, which is currently named Question Marks, uh, is the main character of the story. Saved here, we'll continue. As of yet, it's been the exact same game. I believe uh, things might change soon. I could be wrong to maybe everything I just played on the other version is from the original game. The only difference currently is that I had items on the other version here, and here I have no items. Okay. So we won.
beaked. I'll handle this. Stand back. So I don't remember how much I played on the PlayStation 1 version, but I probably used to play the very, very beginning. Like the first few fights or so. Never really played. Uh, I don't remember playing this long even. But uh, could have played uh, this. I just don't remember it. I remember watching the intro and uh, fighting a few battles. Uh, on the SNES, I uh, like just before starting this recording, I played this part and a bit more. Uh, guard, we're not handing over the Esper. Guard, Ymir, get them. Alright, this is the boss, the same boss. Biggs, hold it. This thing, this thing say, he must have trained it to guard the mines. Ledge, what are you talking about? You know what this is. Biggs, ever heard of a lightning valk? It's a monster that absorbs lightning. Ledge, and stores the energy in its shell. Biggs, right. So whatever you do, don't attack the shell. Ledge, got it. Alright, so uh, of course after reading that in the other verse and I thought that we shouldn't attack the shell, so I attacked only this part and not that part. Uh, but when this uh, head disappeared, I thought it was defeated, so then I started attacking the shell and Terra died. I still managed to win the battle because I realized that this head will disappear every now and then and uh, you're only supposed to attack the head and, wait, and when it's disappeared you should just uh, defend and wait then destroy the head. Let's use fire beam on it and ice beam because if you attack the shell you will be attacked with a lightning attack and it could attack all your party members and it takes a lot of damage. So now we can't attack because um, then we will be attacked by that lightning beam similar to the scorpion of Final Fantasy 7 the first boss. If you attack it when the tail is up, it will also counter with a OP attack. Let's heal the middle guy, Wedge. By the way, Biggs and Wedge are the same names as in Final Fantasy VII for the Avalanche members. And also, Star Wars, I believe Luke Skywalker's friends, were named Biggs and Wedge in, in, in the Rogue Squadron like team. He had a friend that died during the assault on the Death Star. And then I had another friend, probably died in, in the Empire Strikes Back movie, I don't remember exactly, but they were named Biggs and Wedge. So it's Star Wars inspired. Let's attack the head. And attack the head again, if it doesn't disappear. Ymir, Grauk. Okay. We have a, another skill there, Banisher. Uh, that I don't remember that we had in the other verse. We also have Thun Thunder Beam, Big Blast, Confuser, and Magitech Missile. So Terra has way more magic abilities in the original game, in the beginning, than in the other game. So in, in the Virgin Paths hack, we had Fire Beam, Ice Beam, and Healing Force. And then we had something called X-Ray. We didn't have Thunder Beam, Big Blast, Confuser, or Magitech Missile. So this version has more skills actually for Terra. Um, we have Thunder Beam with Wedge as well. We didn't have that in the other version. Leave any attacks on this side, we aren't there. Let's just... Um, we could heal ourselves heal uh, Biggs, I believe. And we could heal Terra too. And defend. Now the head returned. There are differences in uh, what attacks we have and what items we have. I believe that Virgin Pats hack might make the game more difficult. So we have less uh, attacks to use. Let's use Thunder Beam on the head. And 
Thunder uh, Thunder again. Fuck, we used on the. Now we need to heal. He will counter attack probably. Heal Terra. And defend. Himir Grauk. Okay, the head returned. Terra doesn't have a lot of health, only 77 is max, I see. Uh, magic can use big blast on the head. Fuck, it took damage on both. Um, then he will probably counter attack. He will use healing, if that's the case. Yeah, healing. We need to heal Terra. Could heal the others too. Emir Grauk. Okay, uh, healing force veg. Use it on veg too. We want them to have maximum health. And uh, confuser. Magnetic missile. We can't use that now. We will defend everyone till the head returns. So yeah, you have more magic attacks. The original game, Emir Grauk. Now it returned. Use a thunder beam on the head. Magitech missile on the head as well. And thunder beam, okay. So that's Magitech missile, I see. I defeated a monster. Awesome. I believe the animation for when the monster died was similar in the other version, but I believe it looked kind of better there, more, more uh, impressive. Okay, obtained heat potion. Now let's enter this place, get that resource. Uh, battle, we have random battles now. Let's use thunder beam on these guys. Fire beam, maybe. Ice beam. Ah, fuck. Thunder beam actually gave them health. Fire beam was effective too. Ice beam was also effective. Okay. On the battle. Just like in Final Fantasy 7, they do these victory poses and it looks similar. Final Fantasy 7 is pretty much Final Fantasy 6 in 3D with a new story and new characters, but similar. Pick their uh, positions. I believe the the world map also look very different. Uh, yeah, and the mini map for it, and the way things work in this game too. We obtained a potion. Ten fifty. It's like playing a new game, like Final Fantasy eight and seven and nine, but two um, D graphics. Well, Final Fantasy one and two they were totally outdated when I played them on the PlayStation one. I played it the little I played, so I didn't really like them. Bigs, so this is the frozen Esper. Alright. Veg, this thing's giving me the creeps. Something's not right. Girl. Frozen creature begins emitting an aerial light. Reg, where's that light coming from? Oh! Biggs, what was that? Reg, Reg, where are you? Uh, hey, what's going on? Girl. Nice, we have the 
character controllable controllable now so click on start here to bring up the menu on the other version we clicked on triangle okay I'm using a PlayStation 4 controller but, uh, it has similar buttons to the Super Nintendo controller but we didn't use the start button on the on that controller so we have stats here, you can see our stats, level 4, Magitech Elite, Cube, Literal Knife and Buckler, Leather Cap, Leather Armor, Real Legs. We have the menu is very similar to the Final Fantasy 7 menu, just older. We have uh, active time battle or active battle or wait. Wait means that you can wait uh, on doing your move and the enemy won't attack. If you change to active they will attack all the time and if you don't do your attack fast enough they will, you will die because they will continue to attack every now and then I prefer using wait but uh, the active time battle mode is more recent and is probably new for this game I, I don't know it might be added in one of the earlier games like Final Fantasy 5 but it's certainly one of the newer features of Final Fantasy 7 and 6 Let's speak to this guy. Girl, where am I? Old man, my my. And I used to remove the crown. Girl, my head hurts. So I've heard that the Final Fantasy VI game is regarded as the best game. Uh, of course Final Fantasy VII sold the most because it was the first 3D Final Fantasy game. So it became huge in the East uh, after, uh, after it released in 1997, but Final Fantasy VI was the best out of the first six games. I believe the first game released in 1987, and the second in 88, and then the third one in 1990, and then I believe the fourth in 91, and then I don't know if the fifth was 93 or 94, I believe. 92 or 93, but probably 93. And then uh, the, sixth, the sixth game, this game, was released in 94 for the Super Nintendo, and in 99 for the PlayStation 1 remaster, and then in 2006 for the Game, game Boy Advance remaster, I believe. Okay, old man, easy there. This is a slave crown. The others are using it to control you, just robbing you of your thoughts, making it so you you do whatever they told you. Girl, I can't remember a thing. Old man, don't worry. It'll all come back to you. In time, that is. Girl. Mysterious young woman, born with the gift of magic, and enslaved by the Gestalian Empire. Terra. We'll keep the original name. Girl, my name is Terra. Oh man, impressive. Never heard of anyone recovering so fast. Must be made of tougher stuff than most. God, open up! We're here for the Magitek armor pilot. God, open it, open it, <coughs> excuse me, God, open this door right now, and head over, hand over that girl, she's an agent of the Empire. There, Empire, magnetic armor. Oh man, there's no time to explain, you need to get out of here, these fools aren't going to listen to reason. Oh man, this way, quickly. Here, as of yet, it's been the exact same story. They know what will happen for, for now. God, up there! Battle. So we have random battles in this cave. Let's attack this thing. Yeah, it 
would be nice if they made an, a remaster of this, but I don't want a Final Fantasy 3 or 4 remaster with chibi models. I want it to at least look like Final Fantasy 7 on the PlayStation or a, a modern game like Final Fantasy 7 Remake. Uh, what I'm saying is I don't want chibi models, I want realistic looking models. Where she looks like in the Dissidia game. She shouldn't look like a kid. She should look like a woman. So a Dissidia style graphics at least. Dissidia for the PlayStation 3 or, or the PSP doesn't matter. She looked good in, in that game and it would be cool to have a game like this with that graphic. With those graphics. Because this game is great, it's just that the graphics are updated. It should have received like a uh, PlayStation styled update a long time ago. Let's see the game here. And I mean, a PlayStation version that has the same graphics at, as Final Fantasy VII at least. Uh, uh, okay. Let's <coughs> see the game again. One thing I liked with Final Fantasy IX compared to eight and seven was that you could have four characters in battle at once. So that's one thing I th thought they did better in Final Fantasy IX. But I didn't like the more childish characters in Final Fantasy IX. I preferred eight and seven that were darker and had more realistic characters. This game is darker too. It just has two this sprites. That's why I never played it uh, more than a little bit back then. So we are very obsessed with graphics. Now I don't care as much. Obtain 58 gear. <coughs> Let's go and take the chest over here. Obtain Phoenix down. It could be used to heal a down character but we need at least two characters to do that. Another battle. heal ourselves, but we don't waste that stuff. We have cure, which will heal us, and we have fire. Okay, we'll use cure. Then we will attack. Good. We do not have a lot of magic. We have 29 out of 42. We need that for the healing spell. We will use attack on the monster. Music is great. Sounds like something from Final Fantasy 7. Um, to some extent. It's like a mix between Final Fantasy 7 and something new. Or older, actually. Obtain sleeping bag. So six is not that far from seven. It's what seven would have been like if they had stuck to the Super Nintendo. You know, Final Fantasy VII was originally intended to be released on the Super Nintendo. The first, uh, like pictures of it had like SNES graphics, like this game. Then they decided to move it to the PlayStation because the, the game got delayed enough. So they thought that it was um, it was too late to, to add it to the Super Nintendo. Instead they decided to go for for the PlayStation. And that's good because otherwise it would have looked like this. And I'm not saying this is bad, it's just that compared to Final Fantasy VII, I still prefer the 3D graphics, you know. This is a really good game for 2D SNES graphics. And for the, for the 2 experience and the story is probably better and more expensive. The main reason Final Fantasy VII became huge in 1997 was because they had better graphics than any game before it. Okay, 3D graphics. Uh, God, there she is! <coughs> ah, yeah. Fell down a hole.
Kefka, my sweet little magic user. Wee hee hee. This slay crown, you'll be all mine. <coughs> so one thing, I can't really speak when I'm tired. So when I get tired, my English vocabulary disappears. So I become really slow too. Now we see like the flashback what uh, Terra has done in the past. The evil guy, Te uh, Kefka. We he he, good. Burn them all to a crisp. Fuck, I missed a bit of what he said there. You can po uh, pause the video and read it for yourself. Okay, so Kefka put a crown on her and took control of her. And then had her kill a bunch of soldiers. Gestal, soldiers of the Empire, we stand at the dawn of a new age. Gestal, the lost power of magic has returned to us. We are the chosen ones. Gestal, the time has come for us to claim our rightful dominion over the world. Gestal, nothing shall stand in our way. Hurrah! Long live Emperor Gestal! Okay, so when I get tired I can hardly speak. That's why I prefer when, when games are voice acted, like Valkyrie Chronicles, Imperial Chronicles. This game isn't, of course, it's too old, so I need to read all the text myself, or, or not read at all. But I decided to read, but if I get tired, it won't work. Old man, took you long enough, busy with all the robbing and plundering, I presume. Treasure hunter and trail worn traveler, searching the world over for relics of the past. Locke. Okay, we will keep the original name. Locke. I prefer the term treasure hunting. Oh man, ha! Semantic nonsense. Locke. There's a huge difference. Locke. Anyway, is there something you need me to do? Old man. There is indeed. I met the girl. Locke. Question mark. You don't mean... Oh man, the city guard is pursuing as we speak. The city has the strength to stand up to the empire, but it won't use it. People are just too stubbornly independent to join the underground resistance group like the returners. Try to explain that the empire was controlling the girl, but they wouldn't even listen. Look, alright. So, you want me to go to get her out of Nars? Oh man, that would be the idea. Aggravate Figaro for the time being. Ah, here we had a clear change in the, the, the text. There's some different text there. <coughs> this look uh, went down to Terra. That did happen in, in the other version too. And then this guy shows up with an army. God, now we got her. Shit, they have the advantage. Look, you're wonderful. There's a whole bunch of them. Kupo. Ah, so this wasn't an added feature. It was in the original too. Look, you Moogles. Are you saying you want to help? Kupo. Moogle, use us to protect Terra from the guards. Would you like an explanation? Yes. We'll fight using three different groups. Press select to switch between them. Defeat the leader of the guards before his men reach Terra or the battle's lost. Okay. We have four moogles in the main party. They don't know how to, to move. In the other version we could change and control the, the moogles too. Don't know how to do that. So 
We will just stand here. And let them come. Steal from the enemy. Attack the wolf with the moogles and the others. Moogles will all attack. Right, we won that one easily. They are many, it will become more difficult. Another one. Similar creatures. Attack with everyone. Right, one again. And some kill and experience too. Another one. Shit, Loki is almost done. We need to heal him. Heat potion. Fuck, he died. Everyone is down. The pot has fallen. Now the others will fight. Might lose now, unfortunately, uh, because I didn't lose Loki in the previous version, in the in the mod. Ah, he he rose up good. I don't know how to switch uh, character if it's even possible. Maybe that's a modded feature. I don't know, or it's just a controller. You were supposed to be able to switch between Loki and uh, the Moogles. You could control the two Moogle groups too. Maybe that's the, mo uh, the mod or hack. I say mod, but I mean hack. You'll see. At least attack the Moogles. They might win the stuff. Only one that will be difficult will be the boss, probably. didn't pay attention to Loki's health otherwise we could have used the uh, heat potion there ah, we started to lose the moogles we will win this fight at least okay. now it's the boss probably so you can move uh, Loki here in, in the Divergent Pets mode, we could take control over... Ah, it's sele the select button, I see. And we'll move down to the boss. Fight the boss. Attack the wolves, then attack the boss himself. Hopefully, we'll win. Ah, we won. It's a tutorial battle, you're not supposed to lose here. Master a new dance, the he potion. 410 gil, so we've got a lot of money here. Loki, thanks moguls, we're in your debt.
Okay, this switch out uh, Look here, uh, you back with us now. Tara, you saved me. Look here, uh, save your save your tanks for the Mughals. Tara, uh, can't remember a thing. It's like my mind's trapped in a fog. Look here, uh, you lost your memory. Tara, a man said it would come back eventually. Look here, uh, so got amnesia. Don't worry, don't leave your side until your memory returns. Terra, first in mark. Look I'm not gonna... Uh, <coughs> look I'm not gonna up and abandon someone just because they lost their memory. I'll keep you safe, I promise. That's the same stuff that Cloud said to Aries. Speak to this guy. This is, this is a school for, for the beginning adventurer. Despite all of your our recent advances in technology, the outside world remains full of monsters we know little about. Here we provide advice to travelers brave enough to face its many dangers. Right. Adventuring school. This is water from a recovery spring will restore your M health points and the magic points. Such springs are located all throughout the world, so always be on the lookout. This is a save point. Save points you can s use tents and sleeping bags and also save the game. If your party should happen to be defeated in battle, you'll automatically restart from the last place you saved. Any gear or items you obtain will have to be found again. Your level and experience point totally will not change. You can also save the game anywhere on the overworld map. Okay, we need to click on start, then we'll save the game. Now we have a look in the party. First team member. Valuables are sometimes hidden in pots such as this one. Okay, we'll take it. Ten either. Have you heard about relics? Relics can grant you a variety of abilities. For example, sprint throws double your walking speed. Gauntlet lets you hold a weapon with both hands and to increase damage. The knight's code makes you your shield uh, others in combat. The knight's code makes you shield others in combat. Dragoon boots will allow you to perform jump attacks. Person can equip up to two relics at the same time. Okay. Make selections using the A, A button. Cancel them with the B button. Press start to open the main menu. The A button is kinda X and the other one is probably square on the, on the I believe the placing forward control. Be careful, sometimes monsters lurk inside of treasure chests. Okay, there will be a fight here. Monster in a box. We'll defeat the wolf. Alright. Speak to this guy. Let me teach you how to ride a chocobo. Press the A button or the directional buttons to go forward. Steer by pressing. Yeah, yeah, press the B button to dismount. Careful, the bird will return to its pen as soon as you leave the saddle. Okay. And selecting armor and weapons in a shop. Symbols will appear next to characters that can equip them. An upward pointing triangle indicates an increase in attack or defense power. A downward pointing triangle indicates a decrease in attack and or defensive power. Um, and th that symbol indicates no change. E means that the item is already equipped on that character. Symbol beneath the character means that the person is currently in your party. Okay. Speak to this guy. This is a school for the beginning adventurer. Despite all of our recent advancements, I have already read this. 
Uh, okay, let's speak to this guy. If you set the battle mode to wait in the config menu, you can take all the time you want to select spells or items in battle without having to worry about being attacked. Yeah, I know that already. It's the same in Final Fantasy VII. Let's speak to this guy. Status effects are represented by different colors. Blue equals reflect, spells uh, yellow protect, defense is increased, green equals shell, magic defense is increased, red equals haste, speed is increased, white equals slow, speed is decreased, pink equals stop, time is frozen. Okay, speak to this guy. Damage received by characters in the back row is halved, so is the attack power of those characters. Change rows for the ma from the main menu. Press the directional buttons, then select the character and press the A button to twice. Okay, it's the same in Final Fantasy VII. Damage is more severe when enemies have you surrounded, especially if your back is the one attacking. Okay. Uh, the white numbers that appear during battle are damage points. Green numbers are recovery points. Okay. Speak to these guys. You can. You can run from most battles by holding down both the L and R buttons. Turn, ma turn meters are located in the lower right hand corner of the battle screen. When a character's turn meter becomes full, you will be able to enter battle commands for that character. Press select to skip to the next character without entering a command. Okay. When selecting the target for a spell, press the L or R button to target all enemies or, or allies. Okay. When the battle menu appears, press directional buttons to select row or defend. Row moves the character from the front row to the back or vice versa. Defend cuts receive damage in half and lasts until the character's next turn. Here we have a chest, then sleeping bag. Okay. Speak to this guy too. You might find this room more useful after you gain some experience out in the world. A lot of the things you'll hear in here might not make much sense until you've gotten your f feet wet. Okay. Advanced battle tactics. To speak to this guy. Undead creatures such as ghosts are damaged by curative spells and items. Shall I teach you about status effect? Uh, yes. Visibility. Physical attacks will miss, miss you, but spells will always strike true. You'll revert to normal if hit by magic. Imp prevents you from using special skills and magic. Zombie, zombies attack friend or foe alike. Only holy water can reverse the status. If your skin's a sheen. If your skin is a sheen, your he health points is zero, and you're st still moving. There's a good chance you're a zombie. Sleeping confusion. These status ailments are cancelled when the character is attacked. Okay, re-raise automatically revives a character if, if uh, knocked out. Uh, Regen gradually restores the character's health points. Image status creates illusionary images of a character, making it difficult for enemies to hit the character. Fire, ice and lightning are the three principal elements. They are represented by the spells fire, blizzard and thunder, respectively. Reflect spell remains active for only a short time and will not reflect lower magic. Allow me to explain a few of the specialized battle commands. Runic absorbs magic and turns it into MP, magic points. Runic remains active until a spell is absorbed or another battle command is given. Trans both boosts attack and magic. The duration increases as more battles are fought. Dance and Rage. Once selected, these commands are used continually until the end of the battle. And a chest, obtain potion, of course. Something to note about re the, refl the reflect spell. Reflect doesn't block spells that have already been reflected once. You can use this to your advantage. <coughs> cast reflect on an ally, then cast attack spells on that same person to boost them at an enemy. Get it? Okay. Desperate times can bring out strengths you never knew you had. Critical wounded characters may occasionally perform powerful hidden techniques when you select attack. Yeah, like limit breaks. That's in F72 here as well. Get down in this place. Let's move up 
there. Hmm, it's that. Hey! Look, uh, it's not safe here. It better hightail in it south to Figaro. Yeah. Then we reach the world map. You can see it's very similar the minimap to the Final Fantasy VII minimap. The world map too, it's just in 2D. I did reach that area as well when I played the, the hack. We have some battles on the way there. Just steal from the enemy with Loke. And attack with Terra. Couldn't steal from the bird, okay. We'll just attack then with boat. We'll steal from these, see what happens. Still potion, okay. So we can't steal from flying units, I guess. Okay, we'll attack these guys. Look like rabbits. Okay, we received 131 kill. Some other stuff. Oh, we are fighting a forest now. Let's attack the bird. Looks the most dangerous. Take out the rabbits too. Or hares maybe. Wild hares. Leaf bunny. They are named leaf bunny, I see. Okay. Received some experience in Gil. Here is Figaro. Creatures in the desert are pretty dangerous. Uh, it's good that we didn't have a fight. Uh, Figaro Castle. Halt! Oh, it's you. Proceed. Go and speak to the king. Sure. Can't enter the rooms before we've spoken to the king. I believe I did that, and then I checked all the rooms, and then I didn't know what to do. Because I couldn't find him in the castle anymore, and Loki left the party, so I was controlling Terra. Okay, let's speak to the king now. King, you mean this young woman is? Terra, who are you? King, oh, my apologies. King, how rude of me to turn my back to a lady on our very first meeting. The young king of Figaro Castle, imperial ally and champion of the technological revolution. Edgar. So, um, so another character we will be able to play as. It's not usual to have the, one of the kings as a character. Okay, Edgar. I am Edgar, the king of Figaro. Look, uh, surprised that someone like me knows the king. Look, uh, well, I'll catch you two later. And look, you left the party. Edgar, so, you're an imperial soldier, right? Don't worry, Figaro and the Empire are allies. Feel free to rest here for as long as you'd like. It's not in my blood to harm a lady. Tara, why are you being so kind to me? It's because of my abilities. Edgar, I'll give you three reasons. First of all, your beauty has captivated me. Second, I'm dying to know if I'm your type. I guess your abilities would rank a distant third. Tara, Question mark, what's the matter? Edgar, guess my technique's getting a bit rusty. Terra, hmm. I suppose a normal girl would have felt something f from those words. But not me. The, the text is a bit different here, compared to in the hack. But otherwise, the events happen the same, and, and the, the king left. Let's move up here. To the tower. There's a chest here, obtain Phoenix Dawn. Then we can move up. We are at the top of the tower. Didn't need to go back. Can't do anything here. Let's return. 
go this way, we just uh, exit the this area instead. Now that Gestal has the power of Magatek at his command, he set his sights on world domination. Here that the Gestalian Empire got his hands on something called magic. inside here. Here we can buy potions, ether, which will heal magic, antidote, which will heal po uh, poison. We can buy three of those. Gold needle. I don't know what they do. We can buy one of them. Echo screen. Phoenix Dawn. I think we could use more than one Phoenix Dawn. Okay, and that's it. We have two characters. We can have up to 15 or so, 17 characters maybe. But uh, not in this version. I believe in this version we only have the original characters. So they are fewer. We have a chest here. I'll open it. 10 gold needle. Okay. In the hack we could have, I believe, 15 to 17 characters, which is really expensive. I forgot that we are playing the original now. Here we have two chests. Obtain potion, obtain antidote. Okay, let's speak to this guy. Buy auto crossbow. Don't need more than one. Noise blaster. Fuses all enemies with a blast of sand. Use with the tools command. And Bio Blaster deals poison damage and saps. They just all enemies use with the tools command. Let's buy that too. Okay, so I didn't visit these two areas previously. They were new to me. It's this uh, no, it's just the tower. Let's move back now. Speak to this guy, you wouldn't know by looking at it. This castle is loaded with advanced technology, for example. Oops, huh, it's all top secret. Right, let's speak to these guards. Garo Castle is the most advanced structure in the world. Yeah, I love the sprites, especially in the Game Boy Advance version. It looks better than on the SNES. Schoolers, are, uh, schoolers all over the world are studying magic. You can only learn so much about something without seeing it. Okay. Speak to this guy. The ancients once wielded a force known as magic. Those who, ma those who, mas who mastered it, uh, those who mastered the art, were called magi. Okay. Some more to do here. Now we can go and rest in the final area. Speak to the guard first. Pigaro has an alliance with the Empire. Rest for a bit, yes. Then we'll restore the, our health and magic points from the battles. Our king showers his attention on women. Young, old, pretty or plain, no one is safe. Not too long ago, the king tried to hit on the high priestess. Oh, did she ever let him have it? I'm sure he's made a pass or two at you already, hasn't he? Terra. Okay, so we can't do anything more here. I don't know what to do now. Go back to the area of the king throne room. Please, not there. Speak to this. Feel free to wander about the castle. Yeah, he said the same thing. There's nothing we can do here. Throne is 
empty. I think the sprite has a lot of detail and moving. Look pretty good. I have no idea where we are going now. Ah, I didn't know there were stairs here. I, recently, I just saw that they were. The Garo Castle engine room is down the stairs. The engines are currently undergoing maintenance, so we can be ready to move at any a moment's notice if, we need, if the need arises. Okay. I'm sorry, I can't let you go down there. It's too dangerous. Okay. Down here, then. We have some prisoners here. These good for nothing brigands have been locked up for Tivere and worse. The best to keep a safe distance. I didn't see this area because I didn't realize that there were stars. Relax, my boys are just blowing off some steam. Shirking Edgar will let us out of here in no time. They're just small potatoes compared to the real threat lurking out there. King Edgar knows that. It's, um, it's impressive for a 1994 game. any other areas yeah there's there are stars here too let's move down here oh we could move uh, over here is a figaro the desert castle they are riding chocobos this is figaro the desert castle so when I tried reaching this area by going from the entrance, I ended up outside of the area instead. This was the only way here. Cool. Did a mistake in the other version where I tried to go back because I didn't think I could do anything more here. Speak to someone. This guy. Hi Priestess. Edgar has a twin brother, you know. He was such a nice boy, always thinking of his family. Youth, Edgar, what's wrong with you, with dad? Why is everyone talking about the successor? Edgar, are you blind? Haven't you seen how, how thin his face has become? Youth, what do you mean? Youth, Edgar. Youth, are you crying? Edgar's twin brother, who traded the throne for his own freedom. Sabin, another playable character, okay. High Priestess, ah, yes, Sabin. I'm sure he's a fine young man not by now. He was just a boy when he left, even smaller than his brother. I often wonder where he is now and what he's doing. His Highness said he'd marry me when I get, got old enough. Oh. This castle was way bigger than I thought at first. The Italian Empire has already overthrown all three of the other nations on the southern continent. <coughs> it's only a matter of time before they make their way up here. Priestess, Edgar is simply unbelievable. First the nurse, now me. The man hits on anything that moves. I 
find this story interesting, Final Fantasy VI story. So yeah, I felt like playing this game. Now we are playing the original again. Let's move back here. No, we don't need to rest. Go back. Move in this way instead. We have a star area here, the mist. Other side, I thought so. This is Figaro the Desert Castle. You already know. <coughs> okay. This girl, the guard. <coughs> the advanced weapons and other items we manufacture here are shipped to South Figaro. Okay. <coughs> Wonder if we have missed anything. Here. Maybe not. South Figaro. We are at Figaro Castle, but there is a place known as South Figaro. Probably have been here already. Yeah. Okay. Let's leave. Try to find that South Figaro area. It's dangerous on the map. This music is great. Same music as the intro. Save the game here. Oh, we have Loki again. He disappeared in. No, we saved the game and now we are alone with Terra. He left the party. We have the map. We click on. Uh, On uh, select the map disappears, but you can't have it bigger than this. In Final Fantasy 7 there was a third op option. You could remove it, you could add this minimap and then you could have a bigger map. That's not possible here. So the white dots on the map are cities and areas. We are supposed to go down there, but it's dangerous. Okay, we will end here. Thank you for watching. This is the first part of Final Fantasy 6 for the Game Boy Advance. Named Final Fantasy 6 advanced and a remastered version from 2006 of the game with uh, way more uh, impressive sprites it's the same sprites but they look more colorful and uh, sharp here it looked better yeah thank you for watching bye